Hello everyone, welcome to the Sunfire series week 4. My name is Trax, I'm joined by Give Me a Cup Twice and Adlin. No, wait, no, I'm yes. just going by Give Me a Cup Twice. Of course you are. The I'm not formal going by name. Give Me a Cup Twice. That's so bad, <laughs> no. Don't call me that ever. I'm going to only call you that now. Me. Uh, shout out to Leonidas Spartan Man, my, my biggest fucking... I love that guy, actually. That's Here's Dana, that. two white, real Dana, who I thought was like <laughs> Tim or somebody trolling the other guy, but it was Leo the whole time. He's pretty funny. Hi, welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. We're going to start off taking a look at the rankings here for week oh, four, featuring two new goodness. teams, Filthy Casuals and the Sheep Herd, as well as Gifted Gamers and Sakura Dragon Gaming taking over for uh, two pre-existing teams. Sakura Dragon Game playing later today at 11 p.m. Eastern Taking on against Aegis, Aegis Light. Light. I think it's Aegis Lit, dude. Aegis Lit, dude. The littest Aegis team there is. No doubt in my gourd with that one. I played in this game, and uh, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a rough one to watch if you like Aegis Orange. I'll tell you that. <laughs> it's a, it's a bit of ups. Game. There will be downs. There was it's just downs for Aegis Orange. <laughs> Funny enough, it's because all the players have downs. Not many Aww. people know that. Alright, we are good to hop into this game whenever you're ready. We're ready, yeah. All right. You know. We have the uh what oh this is actually the fifth ranked team versus the second ranked team. Aegis Orange undefeated going into this game. We'll see how it goes. You want to get us started? You want to get us in trades? We need to go over of draft course. first, or we're just, we're just uh, hopping right in? There is no draft. We are just hopping right into it. Okay, well, fair enough. We'll just talk about Champions League. So, uh, on the side of Aegis Purple, we see Set Top, Nocturne Jungle, Galio Mid, Caitlyn AD Carry, and Senna Support. Uh, I think a fantastic draft. Nocturne Galio, just a disgusting combination. And then the Caitlyn fake, that is, um, I don't know how to call I don't know what that guy, I'm just calling him ADC. That's ADC's best champ. By, uh, since by, you were in the draft, was the Morgana banned to go along with Caitlyn? The Morgana was banned um, by the blue team, actually, uh, which Ooh. I found interesting. It's Lights' his best champion, who's the support for Aegis Orange, so I get why it was banned, but I feel like if Aegis Purple left it up, it would put a lot more pressure on uh, the red side for bans because they didn't have first pick. Of course. That was, that was something interesting that I saw in draft, personally. Anyway, so we see a five point from both teams. Perfect five point from both teams, actually. They're really looking good. Look at that. Well-coached teams. Very disciplined. You love to see a great five I think five that's one of the first double five points we've seen. Yeah. It's usually we get a nice Fantastic. five stack. It's a really good five point from both teams. So that, that's what you, you really love to see that, to be honest. All right, so on the red side, we see Mundo Top, Trundle Jungle, Victor Mid, Sivir AD Carry, and Brand Support. So I think that personally off the bat, blue side has one draft. What do you think, Adlin? Oh, what, wait, what? Who do you think had the better draft this game, looking at the comps? Uh, definitely gonna say... I don't know. I like red sides a lot. Well, fair enough. Trakes, you got any thoughts on draft? I uh, see. Sticking with support lane, I usually don't know uh, how some builds go, so uh, set and Nocturne. AD champions, correct? Yes. Yeah, they're looking a little uh, AD heavy on, heavy. on the yeah. B side. Yeah, but LDR exists, dude. It's just like that. Just, dude, it doesn't matter. Broken item. Tanks are just useless. Like, imagine building armor in 2021, dude. It does. Tanks are but... useless. No, Anyways, we're seeing a bot side star from both junglers. They're basically matching each other in clear. I just noticed Nocturne didn't go for his Krugs. Interesting. I wonder why. I'd like to ask Creeper that. I wonder why he skipped Krugs there. Or did he just not finish the entire... Can you go scroll down the Krugs really fast, Trakes, on the screen? I was going to see what he did. Uh, on the uh, blue ooh, side. We have the Fog of War. F3. F3? Yeah, no, they are still yeah, there, chilling. He didn't take his Krugs. I wonder why. Don't need him. I really need to ask him that. That's some dark tech. If he I... knew that the Trundle was also starting bot, maybe it's just to get ahead to the, uh, to the Scuttle Crab top? But he's matching the clear with with the trundle right now, so I don't know I don't know what what he got out of that other than being under level. Yeah, so he's going straight for it. 
Oh, and Set's already there. Okay, I see. So there's one scuttle priority. That's a that's a pretty good pathing right there. Mm -hmm. Seeing a lot of action bot, a lot of trades back and forth. It's just a a lot of this is an aid lane from both. Silver really Brand is. versus Kate Senna. Like what a bunch of degenerates everyone in this Four lane. Four poke champs in the bottom. Yeah, here. this is awful. It's cringe. I would say the uh, Caitlyn Senna has the advantage yeah, here, just because they outrange. Yeah, they outrange. But I think the Brand's first. Way better than Senna's early. So we're seeing an early gank from Trundle. Brand flashing forward. He's gonna die, but so is Caitlyn. Don't know about that flash from T-Lights there. Interesting. What do you yeah, think, Yeah, very, um... It could've just been to keep the fight going. Kind of draw him in more to get, uh... Either the Sivir or the Trundle to kill there, but... Definitely a questionable flash. Frozen Prince taking so much damage from the minions. Uh, Jackie, not Jackie Love getting some damage off there. Uh, not Jackie Love, who is the highest KDA player in the league. Classic mm. Lee Sin player. Yeah, best Lee Sin player as well. Just an all around Chad. The burn from the brand takes out the Senna. It looks like it. T Light's picking up a kill down there. Jackie at 002. Seen Child Hater get pushed in here by Leonidas Spartan Man. I mean, the real carry is going to be in the sports here. Support's always carry. Well, Jackie Support. never carries, so it's shocking. <laughs> uh, so, Psyduck in the chat yeah, saying it's can... way better for Blue Side, the bot lane. <laughs> Uh, so I'm gonna say the red side must be better here because Sidek is usually wrong. Everything no, I agree. The they got the range. Ooh, Blue the side? good pillar there to block the Galio dash. Ooh, look at that Trundle going in. Thing. And he gives the kill over to the mid laner. What a good play. How okay, could he ruin this? Him. How could he mess this up? There's no way. So far, Orange having a commanding lead on the map. Now, what do you think about the uh, Caitlyn rushing Berserkers here? Uh, I think it's fine. She's just, she's just trying to dodge skill shots and just stay safe and farm. Yeah, true. Like, she's, she started a call, so she's really not looking to fight, which... I mean, according to Sidek, she should be fighting, but... I mean, I'm seeing Sidek, TP from so. Galio here into the bot lane. Nocturne's also roaming down bot. TP from Victor as well. Oh. They're gonna get caught out. So we're seeing an end from Aegis Orange there. You know I haven't watched this Tim told me to play, but I'd never watch it. That is an actual massive. They're shoving for no reason. So Sage's gonna get a kill, which is actually pretty big. But uh, looks one like... One we got the Sivir in the cake. One for one. Nocturne gonna pick up Drake here while Trundle is in base, currently trolling. Interesting. So oh, Purple is gonna get... Some objectives and a kill. Pretty big. Pretty huge, in fact. Honestly, pretty good gameplay from both teams so far. Blue yeah. team leading objective wise, but uh, red team up lightly in kills, so the gold is just about even, but with red having a 500 gold lead. Good old Aegis Orange with their 500 gold lead. I was really excited for the slide transitions, but I guess we're not getting those right now. Pretty sad, not gonna lie. Yeah, we got some new slide transitions for SFS. What, what am I, what, what's, what's the word I should be using? Transitions transition slide. slides? Yeah. Well, you we're gonna see a 1v1 in the mid lane. Galio taking no damage. Victor doing no damage. Getting a little bit of poke off, but otherwise pretty boring lane. Boy in the chat saying lethality nocturne have not seen that in a while. Yeah, I don't think it's bad, it's just not as good as Stride, right? Stride, you do a lot of damage and you're also basically unkillable, and mm -hmm. squishies cannot get away from you, and you basically get an insta fear. But I mean, lethality is still decent, not bad. Lethality had like a 50% win rate before they fucking 
buffed Strider, before people found out about Stridebreaker Nocturne. They haven't like nerfed Lethality, I don't think it's terrible. Plus all Nocturne wants to do is Ulteon to like, light the Brand or the Sivir or something. Just like that. One shot him. Yeah, so we're, yeah, so we're seeing Brand instantly go on lights, which I think is definitely the call. We're Nocturne going to Brand, right? And then they're gonna get a double kill ball lane, so really good gank from Nocturne there. It's just so much CC He's getting on the map. could not hold. That is two kills going over to the Kaelin, who is, I think, the best AD carry in the league, personally, but... We're gonna see Spartan Man flash away from the gank. Good flash coming in. He gets away. We're gonna see Trundle start up the Rift Herald, while Victor is getting some platings mid. Not a lot of action on the map. So, uh, Adam, while we're just in between, uh, what do you think about 9-11, uh, bud? Uh oh. I know, it happened. It did happen. It could happen again. It could. Actually, no, it couldn't. The TSA is so good at their job, dude. It couldn't possibly happen again. Is Trundle gonna be oh. looking for a dive here on the top lane? Uh, I don't remember. Let's watch. Let's watch and find out. Set has zero HP. Front of the summoning Rift Herald top, it looks like. They're going to try to break this turret down um, while Nocturne's on the bot side of his map. So this playing for top side while That's Purple is playing for their bot side right now, which I think is probably the better call because Purple's bot lane is very, very strong. And they have a lot of skill pressure with that Nocturne ulti coming in. Brand's gonna be looking for that WQ combo right <laughs> on the cape. Psydex said I sound tired and useless. <laughs> this is hurtful. You did say you were gonna try and take a nap, but that never happened. Yeah, yeah I'm not tired. Am I, do I sound tired? I'm sorry, everybody. I'll try to pick Where's the energy. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I don't have energy in. I'm sorry. More. Cause I, I've, it's because I only get energy when I see people like playing bad League of Legends, but I think both teams played pretty well, other than like Jackie, of course, inting every once in a while. But I think everyone played really well this game. Jackie was never. Game Nocturne ult in on to the victor here. Galio ult hits as well. The old clapper. Going to be another kill for the Nocturne. Yeah, Nocturne playing out of his gourd. Looks, look at, looking, you know what? I'm going to say it. Looking like a jungle gap, boys. Looking like a fat jungle gap. I'll be the first to say it. I'm just saying, one team right now, 100% of the jungle objectives. Dude, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, it's, it's <laughs> I, I'm joking. It's a, it's a fat jungle gap. It's a fat jungle gap. <laughs> Like it may not reflect it like yet, but like it, it'll it'll become more and more apparent. It, I'm thinking about what L Boy said now. Actually, I think if Nocturne goes right here, it's actually better. Cause I think he can still kill Brand, and I think that he's more useful. But we'll see how the. Oof. Give me a cup twice. Walking back into the Senna ulti, crazy. Giving over a free kill for nothing and a Drake apparently. What an enter, crazy. Orange decided to send their bot lane top as the dragons come in. Can you uh, give us some yeah. insight into Orange, that one? Uh, dude, I, I don't know. Class. Just a, uh, some miscommunication there. I'm just an enter. I'm just an enter. Like I don't. I, I wish <laughs> I, I could tell you like, oh man, you know we thought this, that, and the other, but the answer is just an enter. I'm just a filthy, filthy inter. All right, so we're seeing a lane swap from uh, top and bot here. Um, trying to clear out some wards on screen. Interesting gameplay there. We're gonna see set match the lane swap from orange which is a good call but trundles walks away from ganks i'm just gonna have to I burn the flash to get away from the gang focusing on getting child the, uh, hater going in with a couple of machetes chucking them he is he is a machete chucker that is true mm -hmm. um i was gonna say i think that noctur should be focusing topside here just repeatedly killing the sivir or the brand over and over again 
I mean, him going in on the Mundo is not going to do much. I don't think he has the damage right now to really no, affect. No, Noon just walks away. Yeah. Both top laners zero zero zero. Okay. Safe gameplay. Just look for the so lead. Not game. a lot of action. Yeah, we're not seeing we're not seeing any action. Seems like we're just getting a nice, Shit. chill six to four game at thirteen minutes. That's what we like to see. It doesn't have to be all the the fireworks that you like to see. So so far, purple is safe. prioritizing drakes really really well compared to orange. Orange has zero drakes while purple. So we're seeing Mundo fight the set, and it's just a and wet with the fight. ult burn. There's just not a lot of damage coming down from either of them right now. No, it's just a wet noodle fight in the bot lane. <laughs> So we're looking at CS, we're seeing basically even CS across the board, other than the mid laner for orange has way more CS than the mid laner for purple, and that 80 carry for purple has way more CS than not Jackie Long. Way more CS, and is up about two or three kills, I could say, here. Grand flashing forward, missing the stun, gonna ulti, getting no off the bounces. poke on Kalen. Not sure about that flash forward by White. Second one this game. Yeah, T Light's trying to be aggressive here, but the team is just not looking to engage at the moment. He said no. Yeah, so we are seeing about a 2K uh, level 30 to side X saying, Jackie, get again gapped. What else is new? Somehow he is ranked two because his KDA is high. Easy to not die when you get carried by your top side. Solid winger We're asking another what team are you on? Not the knowing on the Mundo. that's his AD Fears carry. are going to connect. But once again, the Mundo can just soak up all of the damage. Yeah, like I'm saying, Nocturne, and he's flashes mastery. We see Doctor Mundo flashing mastery, even though he's a shitter. So you hate to see that kind of stuff. Oh, Ex solid winger ball. currently shit talking Psyduck in the chat, not knowing it's his AD carry, because <laughs> Psyduck is talking a bunch of shit. <laughs> it's Psy, you fucking clown. Yeah, some exactly. Friendly Dark, fire in the chat. There's some friendly fire in the chat. That's your shit mouth ADC, bud. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I do not think Not Jackie Love will stay. Even though you int a bit on Jin. A bit? <laughs> a bit? Yeah, this game is a little bit boring, not gonna lie. I'm telling you, it's because it's, it's, this has probably been the closest game so far like the gold is basically even it is even where's all the people running it down at that's what we like to see here eh, yeah that's what i came here for they really should just aram we're gonna see mundo try to run down the nocturne nocturne is squishy because he has eclipse uh Psyduck, a lover of eclipse is probably gonna Ooh, splash <laughs> the, the bot set. again mundo a little greedy boy but he's gonna ulti away and we are going to be looking well, at the 2 from back, the red we team. See Trundle and Victor walking down currently. Trundle missing that pink wall, but Victor is there to clean it up. We're going to see them turn on to the Drake. Nocturne has ulti up and vision, it looks like, in the pit, or is going to have vision. So we'll see how this Drake goes. Nocturne could be looking for the ult in, and he does, and he Nocturne gets the steal. Steals. Oh my god, this jungler must have old man hands. We're gonna see Nocturne die, but Big Trundle set flashing into the set down ulti, Trundle. wiping out one member, two members, three members wiped by set for a triple kill. Caitlyn sitting at 3-1, gonna pick up the kill onto Dr. Mundo, and we're seeing a Drake steal from the Nocturne jungle gap, by the way. And we're seeing a massive set who went from 0-0-0 to 2-0-2 in the span of a couple of seconds. Move it on up. Maybe the top lane's not going to be a wet noodle fest anymore. Great play from all of Aegis Purple. You love to see it. That's the third Drake. They steal it away. What a jungle gap. What a depressing jungle gap this is. You hate to see it. 
I think Creeper should move up the jungle rankings. I don't know about you guys, but well, three Drakes, one of which guy definitely stolen. should move down a little bit. I unironically agree with that. We didn't win this game, Psyduck. Why, why is Psyduck hurting me in the chat? Not too sure. We're seeing 2k gold lead come out from Aegis Purple. Three Drakes. Trundle walking in. Gonna Last miss the pillar. The cape. We're, they're gonna run down Caitlyn here. Mundo running down Caitlyn. I'll live Galio and step behind them. They have to be careful. They're gonna pick up the kill onto Caitlyn. Mundo getting a shutdown here. We're gonna see Creeper fall next. Set ulting, killing the brand. Also gonna fall down. That is three for zero so far. All because Caitlyn and Senna pushed up too, a little bit too far. Are they gonna continue? We see Trundle getting the pillar onto Galio. They're gonna turret dive. Mundo just ignoring turrets like it's nothing. And that is a f ace coming out from Aegis Orange. A five for one with only the support going down. That's so the what you gold need to see lead from was Aegis Orange. 2k in the favor of purple. Now it's 2k, a 1k in the favor of orange. And they're also going to get a turret, bringing that gold lead up to 2k. Getting the early kill on the cape there really can just turn these fights, because Caitlyn is really the only one doing a lot of damage to take out most of uh, Aegis Orange here. Mundo greeting for some farm, gonna get ulted by the Nocturne and Creeper taking him down. Once again, Creeper establishing dominance as the best jungler in this game. So, so far we're seeing a top lane CS lead for the side of Aegis Orange, jungle CS lead for the side of Aegis Purple. Mid lane Freitas Orange has a huge gold lead on the Galio. Can you press X just so everyone can see, Trakes? Yes. I'd love to see what the gold is on the map looking right now, actually. So yeah, oh my god, that ADC gap is huge. What the fuck? Jackie down almost 2k. Alright, you can tap back out. Caitlyn at almost 10 CS a minute right now, by the way. Just absolutely perfect CS. I really think this AD carry is the best ADC on the uh, in the league. 10 CS a minute. So all Aegis Orange has to do now, right? Is just get the next four drakes, right? <laughs> they can't let any more steals happen. They can't int fights. And with the way this, uh, this Trundle's been smiting things, you never know. Better. They just have to play better. <laughs> Oh, so 2k gold lead out from Aegis Orange. The kills are basically even. It's just a CS lead right now, looking like. I mean, if the Caitlyn continues to try and frontline for her team, and the Mundo can just run her down throughout as many towers as he wants, the game's pretty much already over. Yeah, but see this item, right? This item in the game called Lord Dominic's Reminder. <laughs> <laughs> it means if you're a tank, you don't get to play the game or run anybody down as but long as they can if you have two tanks people. we're seeing Kaylin walk up again she's gonna get ulted by trundle is she gonna get run down she is gonna get run down is not gonna go next nope we're seeing a tp come in from the set and Aegis Orange is going to walk back. Kaylin stepping up too far one more time. Victor going to get ulted on by the Nocturne. He's going to go gold. We're seeing Aegis Orange walk down to try and stop it. Is Victor going to live? Set ulties him. He's going to fall down to Set. We're going to see Set go next. Mundo currently tanking the Kaylin. We're going to see Galio on the back line. Aegis Orange is going to win another fight. It looks like Senna flashing away with the Galio currently on lights in the back line. He is not going to get lights, and that is a triple kill going over to the Trundle. Why would you give it to the worst member of the team? Hey, Will they get this Drake? the exact same thing <laughs> as the top Three lane Three Drakes. Will they get it? Let's find out. He's already had one stolen, so is over the pit, and he gets it. Securing the first Drake of the game 22 minutes in. This is the turning point here. I think this ADC is better than Farachi. I think this ADC is really good. Which I think one? if he built... Oh, not Jackie. Jesus. If I had the Caitlyn. <laughs> Fuck. Nah, no, I mean, he I was doing Jackie good, but... Jackie played good. Jackie the played Caitlyn good. here has been caught out the last two fights, costing her yeah. team both the Dragon like, and the Ace in the top lane. It's just playing AD carry. Yes. I don't like how side X thinks somebody gets caught out a lot. Isn't this the guy who flashed into four people? <laughs> P 
people who live in talk from the guy who loses all the dragons. Yeah. Listen, listen, I'm not <laughs> talking about people smiting though. You don't see me giving a lecture on how to smite. Why not? I'm not saying I think Jackie just sucks. Nah. Crazy. Dude. Crazy Dude. flame. How do you tame a horse in Minecraft? We're gonna find out. Good question. All right, so we're gonna see Purple start up the Baron right now. Sorry, Light's getting some poke off. Gonna stun the Galio. Galio taking a ton of damage from Baron and Bran. We're seeing the Sivir ulti come out. Gonna instantly kill the Galio. Frundle on the Senna. Going to take her down. It looks like. Yup. And then Set is bot. Set having TP, but oh, not having TP. Why is he sidelining when they're starting Baron? So at the most, they could have only had four people there because Mundo has TP and Set doesn't. Interesting Baron call. I'm not sure about that one. Seems like a bit of a throw. Is Mundo going to solo kill the Set here? It looks it like looks he will. It looks like it. Huge Nocturne going. Is he going to get another steal? No, he's going to die, and this is going to be Baron Ooh. for Aegis Purple, having a 5k gold league. Yeah, I don't understand that Baron call. I don't it, understand it that It looked Baron like call. at the end there, we were focusing a bit more on the uh, Mundo set fight in the bot lane. Was the Nocturne trying to solo it at the end there? No, he ulted in into four uh, people. Ah, okay. He won for this. He's team. just trying to make a play. Yeah, he's trying to make a play. Purple's ADC at 242 CS. We're almost seeing a Flame Horizon come out in the ball lane. I will point out the uh, the Lord Dominic's regards has been purchased and uh, no kills have been picked up yet. Well, she just got it. You gotta no, give her some. No, 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 no. This, I think <laughs> this was a good 10 minutes now. Man, I was told when you got it. Yeah. I was told when, when you get it, you just win the game. What, uh, what happened? Yeah. Cringe. Yeah. Psyduck's so cringe. They didn't get IE third, dude. That means they throw. Get the fuck up. <laughs> who the fuck cares? That's such like a who cares point. Now, where Caitlyn trolls is her fourth item. That's the troll. The fourth item is what I think honestly loses them this I think you can go IE. Because she needs, she needs heal reduction, she needs her mythic, obviously, and she needs LDR. What the fuck is Psyduck ever- why do we listen to this guy? Caitlyn's build is fine. Alright, so we're seeing Trundle walk into three people right now to clear out a ward. What an int coming out. He's gonna go on the center, get ulted by the Nocturne, four people on him. Just gonna fall down and die for absolutely nothing. Just a complete int from the fucking jungler. Giving over a 700 gold bounty. Definitely a, a bit of a... A misstep there from the Trundle, overextending quite a bit. Why is everyone flaming the Caitlyn in chat? I think the Caitlyn did fine. Yeah, like the Caitlyn is doing fine. Like she's getting run down by two tanks. What the fuck do you want from her? Psyduck flashing to three people and he's shit talking to this Caitlyn. <laughs> nah, no way. I get getting run down, but it's not like you can just not get run down. Two tanks sprinting at you with silver bolt. And they don't really have peel other than the Galio. Maybe set to a lesser extent. The Psyduck saying it's actually easy as fuck. Okay, let's watch Psyduck's game this week. If he gets run down one time, then it's probably not easy as fuck. Is that agreeable to everyone? Let's watch Psyduck's game. We'll figure this out. 10 seconds coming up on Infernal Drake. It will be the second dragon for Aegis Orange and the fourth. It'll be Soul for Aegis Purple. Aegis Purple currently down 7k gold. Looks like they're going to wrap around for it. Is Aegis Orange going to start this? They are not. So we're seeing Purple walk into the pit blind. Jackie missing the Q. We're seeing a TP in from Mundo. And we're going to see Purple starting up the Drake. Now, right now, we're seeing Caitlyn pump out massive damage. Galio will be coming down, zoning everybody from Orange back. Trundle going to go onto the Drake. Trundle going to have the Drake stolen. That is Another so good for Aegis Purple. That is a huge jungle gapper. 
Now we're gonna see Caitlyn dealing out massive damage. Oh man, if only she had an IE, this fight would have really turned for them. Ow, Caitlyn, so bad. Crazy. We're seeing a massive, massive turn from Aegis Purple, stealing the Drake, and Caitlyn getting huge. That's another drag steal. That's that's soul. That is soul. That's the end of the game right there, bud. That's it. GG. You don't win after soul. And it's probably one of the best souls. Unless you can Huge. stall all the way for Elder. Huge. Huge. We have Baron coming up in two minutes. Caitlyn's gonna be doing even more damage now. And although she has I will her say Doms. Not having an IE is pretty... Yeah, you saw Caitlyn damage that fight, right? It was disgusting. Would have been better. Good an IE third, yeah, true. Yeah. So we're going to see Galio and Set in the ball lane. Set going to recall here. Galio just farmed away. Here. 300 CS on the Caitlyn. She is over 10 CS a minute. She's over 10 CS a minute. Flame Horizon from the Caitlyn on Jackie Love. This Caitlyn, an absolute monster. Take a look at the gold here. Still about a 2k gold lead in favor of Caitlyn, and about a 3k in favor of Victor versus Galley on the big win. And the lights and center are basically even. That's wild. I didn't even think about that. Support income kind of sucks, huh? Yeah, yeah, it does. No I'll take way. a no item brand over a no item center. I think a gold for doing none. All right, so not a lot of action right now. I would have loved to see Nocturne just push his hit. Like, I feel like Nocturne can just, I don't know, maybe the Eclipse build is kind of troll. I need Elboy to tell me if Eclipse is troll on Nocturne, because I feel like it is. I feel like you really want to just get in, one-shot the brand, and get out. One-shot pretty much either the mid uh, or bot lane. We're seeing a 6k gold lead from Aegis Orange right now. However, they are down soul as the jungler has missed not one, but two smites. Making this game very hard for the members of Aegis Orange to play. Caitlyn finishing a Blade of the Ruin King. Now, are there any ADCs in the chat that want to give their thoughts on Blade of the Ruin King Caitlyn really fast? I'd love <laughs> to hear thoughts on Blade of the Ruin King Caitlyn. Nocturne is going to spot out the members of Aegis Orange. Going to get a little poke out from both teams. They're just doing the, the old barren dance here. However, I think that the members of Aegis Purple are slightly stronger. Kaelin has a one item lead on the set. We're seeing a lot of damage come out into the set. Set going to be picked out maybe, but look at those shields. And Nocturne in the back line wiping up. Set ult Galio ulting again, applying so much CC. Not Jackie Love, the gonna go man down. Taunt. Galio carrying that fight, and Caitlyn just doing all that backline damage right there. And that is a three for two. I remember that being like an ace. It almost was attempted saves to Victor, lives with about five health. That's gonna be Drake going over, and they're closing down that lead to 4k. However, they have Drake Soul, which I don't know how much gold sold with this. Gotta be a lot. I feel like Aegis Purple is currently at the driver's seat this game, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Yeah, I don't know. The Blade of the Ring, Kaelin, I feel like if that's an IE, like, just think about how much damage you're doing yeah. with IE there. I don't think you need that percent health when you have Lord Doms. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know about that. I don't know about that buy. And, that, and the Lord Doms. Sidek has nothing to say about that. Sidek was talking all day about a bunch of shit nobody cares about, but the fucking Blade of the Rune King Caitlyn, he's fucking silent on. That one makes sense. Such a 32 minute game. I, th I think it's being played pretty well by both sides. The only thing I would point and go like, you suck as the trundle missing two smites. Let's see, will it be three this game? 
Oh boy. Elder we'll Dragon find is out coming shortly. Up. Caitlyn at 339 CS at 33 minutes. Not Jackie Love at 200. Also, if any members of Aegis Purple want to give an interview after this game, uh, hop into the chat. chat. You know who I really want to hear from? Yeah. This uh, this Trundle here. I want to know what it's like to uh, oh, fuck get out of the Yeah. How's it feel? Yeah. Hardcore. Uh, yeah, it, it, it didn't feel good. I'll tell you that much. I'll tell you that much. It was a fucking gapper, bud. I'd love to say it was close, but it wasn't, dude. I got hard carried. All right, so we're seeing the Elder Drake fight. This is reminiscent of the past two steals on Drake. Caitlyn and Senna and Set doing so much damage. Trundle gonna flash Pillar. We're gonna get the multi off. We're gonna see Set fall. Ooh, not falling down. Trundle going to die. Sage currently fighting. We're seeing only two members alive for. They're getting wiped right now by it. A star of Ages Orange is getting wiped by Ages Purple. Tr Mundo getting a kill onto the Nocturne. He's gonna sprint away, but Sen is gonna get him. We're seeing Sage alive. Sage managing to one-shot the Kaelin in the back line. Nobody really sees what happen so fast. Will Sage get a kill onto the Galio? That's huge. That prevents Elder Drake, which is the team winning thing. <laughs> Sinek, why is Sinek so mad? Sinek's so angry. <laughs> Sorry, tell me how good Blade of the Room King Kaelin is, please. I really need to know. I really need to hear from Sidek about how good it is. That's what he that's what it seems like he's saying. Sage doing so much damage. Senna walking up too far, going to die. That means they will not have a member up for Elder, while Aegis Orange in the first members inting are up in time for this Drake. So it'll be a 4v5. Will Nocturne get that steal though? I'm the most objective in the game right now. We're seeing Sage in base. So it'll be a 3v3 as Galio still needs to spawn. However, Galio does have ulti ready. We're seeing a TP in from Victor. And we're going to see Aegis Orange pull the Drake and start it. Well, the first thing they pulled all game, imagine actually pulling the Drake out so it's harder to steal. Nocturne does not have vision, so he got it really quickly, but the dragon's going to go down. Mundo going to chase down the set. Can they get a kill here? What will Aegis Orange do? They're currently up 4k. T-Light's almost getting one shot by the set W. Set going to go down. It looks like Aegis Orange is all running down mid. Very big damage and one the set, pick not onto enough. Senna was it. The ADC wants to interview? Tell him to get in the lobby chat. So we are going to see Aegis Orange run it down mid with Elder buff on them. Mundo going to be looking to turret dive maybe. Kaelin just doing a bunch of damage. Light's going golden as the Nocturne goes in. Nocturne getting greedy there. Light's going to flash away from the Sun ulti. That is one member. Three. Three. That is only one member left. And Galio falls and Aegis Orange is going to end the game. Trundle tanking turrets. Sage going to int. Oh, Sage lives. And we're going to see an end here. Although Leonidas is up. Is he going to be enough to stop? He's ulting on the, the Trundle. He is going to be killing the brand. Will he get the Sivir? Trundle fighting for no reason. Mundo on the Nexus. Quad? And the Quadra kill. But it's the not going to be enough. Imagine if he had ulted here. He could have ulted Mundo into the fountain. Just save the ultimate. Mundo going to troll a little bit. <laughs> And there's going to be the end. Age is orange winning in a nail biter. And Down to the Garku last hit on the Nexus. Another game of Jackie getting carried. Jackie Why is everyone carried. hating on Jackie? I don't know what you're talking about. Jackie didn't even do that bad. All right, so All right. who do we have for interviews post game here? Oh, we got the ADC from Purple coming in. I'll bring him in. ADC I'll bring him in. Purple. This is the ADC from Purple. There he is. Hi, ADC what? from Purple. What should, first off, what should we call you? Call me ADC. Oh, wait, sorry, what? Do you hear me? Yeah, what, what should we call you? Sorry, I didn't catch that. ADC. All right, fair enough. ADC sounds good. 
Um, so who has put the trakes questions for the 80 carry who finished the game with, let me see, 353 CS in a 37 minute game. Yes, absolutely insane numbers. Um, you guys seem to hold the lead quite well early. What happened as the game went on there? Oh, curse. What happened? Am I allowed to curse? Yeah, of course. Mild. Oh, I really fucked up with the call to go for the tier 1 tower after we took the rift or whatever we took. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I gave away my shutdown. I knew that the Mundo was close. Yeah. I thought Senna... I mean, I thought me and Senna, we can survive into Mundo. But Mundo just fucking run me down. Uh, he yeah. run me down and I couldn't do shit. I didn't expect that much of uh, speed from him and that much of slowdown from him. I didn't yeah. expect to die there. If I would... Oh, that, that that's just experience stuff. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, what what was the thing with the Blade of the Ruin King by? Oh, I thought it was just more... I, I mean... I just need to kill Mundo and Trundle, that's it. Yeah. I thought... Uh, I, I I never done the math for that the build. I thought uh, Borok just going to be more DPS for yeah. tanks uh, than IE. I I'm not sure logic. if that's the case. I get the logic. I think it was... I think it was it, you could make an argument for both, but you need to peel, right? You need to peel from the Galio and the set. Oh, but... uh, did you see in the last fight? Uh, not, not last fight. The one where Victor and Senna survived. Yeah. Victor one shot. Uh, yeah. Right there. No, no, it's just like Mundo going into me. Yeah. I have Senna. I can't do anything. Yeah, that, that's what I was saying too. Like I was saying they they everyone's arguing that Galio and Set want to can peel you, but I feel like they're not looking to peel the AD carry. This is really like you needed more of a well, front that fight, they were support. Not, that fight they were yeah. not peeling, correct? You needed more of like a, I don't know what support would have been better there, but yeah, the Senna oh, also the 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 flash from Trundle was really, really good. Flash into Peeler into they all just run us down. That was that was just yeah. mwah, like beautiful play by them. <laughs> Uh, I think I think it was okay, but uh, yeah, I, th I thought you played really well. I think that 353 s 353 CS is in disgustingly high. That's a gapper right there. I thought your jungler played amazing, uh, but yeah, I think it was just unlucky. Uh, Adlin, do you have any questions here for ADC? Uh, what are your thoughts on Sida? <laughs> I don't think he knows who that is. He's the ADC for uh for Leaf Village, just an irrelevant uh, AD carry player. He just he's the biggest shit talker in the league, by uh, a mile. What's his Discord touchy on? A uh, level thirty two Psydeck LVL. Oh, I've blocked him already. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, man, it's like I want to be gain gaining brain cells, you know, not losing them. I agree. I think that's a smart decision. Psyduck makes me lose brain cells too. I 100% behind that. Um, so, you guys are playing. I don't know who you're playing next week, actually, but how are you going to prepare for your next opponent? Who? After this week? I don't know who you're playing. I know. I'm just, I'm just uh, working on my fundamentals. That's it. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah. Mentals. Nothing, nothing crazy. Drake, you got anything? Uh, I am all good for now. All right. Well, thank you, ADC, for coming in. Give us some parting oh, thoughts. Hello, hello. Yeah, yeah. Thank you Give for my team lot. for thank you for my team for like inviting me here to this tournament. Oh yeah, that's, that's really yeah that's, we like, like you that's guys. Hella fun. You guys are a good team. Like, that was actually everybody. a really fun game. That was a yeah, fucking yeah, yeah, yeah. nail biter. We should thanks, not have thanks won that. Thanks for making it. Yeah. All right. Later, dude. <laughs> have a good day. It was good talking to you. I like that guy. What a solid guy. I like Aegis Purple, man. That's a good like all the Aegis teams I like except for Leaf Village. <laughs> Leaf Village is unironically the most I feel like toxic. there's a leaf, a leaf Village bias in this, uh, between the cast. <laughs> two, of the, two of the five members of Leaf Village just shit talk. That guy comes. Fun. But hey, no. Can we get Jackie in here? I asked, I messaged Jackie, I DM'd him. Can we get Jackie in? Jackie? Anyone who will choose. Anyone who I wants want to be Jack in here in can here. be in here. From either we, need a, we need another Ages Purple or an Ages Orange member. Can we get Psyduck in here? Rue Ru can get in here. Let's get Rue. Let's get Rue. Let's get Rue in here while we wait for Jackie. I want I want Jackie, though. I want Jackie to give an interview. Yeah. Jackie's been flamed a lot. He may have been flamed a lot, but he is oh, we're getting leading ruined. the KDAs. Hi, Ru. Yeah, true. How's it oh. going, Ruardo? It's Ru. 
Oh, sorry. I'm going to call you Eduardo anyways. Um, so what do you think of that game, bud? Um, it was finally a fun game. It was a fun game. Uh, do you think that you guys should have lost? Uh, I mean, technically, I guess. Since, I don't you know, think that, you should have lost. I, well, I, I mean, that, 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 say. that elder, you know. I mean, I'm just speaking technically. Like, yeah, you got yeah. Elder. Like, okay, you want to get it, but the busted buff. If they took Elder out of the game, you would not see as many fucking dumb endings for games. But it's whatever. Oh, apparently you have a big <laughs> fan, Rue. Uh, so oh, nice. I like the Galio pick a lot, by the way. Um, Thanks. I thought you guys had a really good team comp. Galio Nocturne is just foul and annoying to play against. Um, yeah, that's uh, that's Creeper's call. I, you got to give that to Creeper. Yeah, was whoever dark. drafted that was... <laughs> I hated that person. That was so... Yeah, that was Creeper. Um, so if you could give MVP to any player on your team, who would you give it to? Uh, I mean, I guess ADC or Creeper. I think they both did yeah, real good. That's, yeah, that's what I'd give it to. I think I'd even give them MVP of the entire game, to be honest. Uh, they made it a close one. Uh, how was it landing against uh, Sage? Did you find it difficult, or was it just like uh, Sage sucks? It was. No, it was eh. I mean, I wish I could have CS better, but you know, I mean, Victor has crazy poke, and then when his laser upgrades, it's even harder. The yeah. wave clear is fucking stupid. So a bit of a cringe yeah. pick from from Sage. I agree. He's an insecure player, but what can you do about it? Um. <laughs> All right. Anyone have questions for Rue while we're here? Before we get, I want to get. Uh, where's Jackie? Yeah, get Jackie in here. All right, I need Jackie. I'd also like to say happy fifteenth birthday, Bio. Oh, happy. Thank yep. Happy fifteenth birthday to Biosphere. Um, everyone wish Thank happy you happy birthday. Um, oh, it's uh, my birthday. My bad. Oh no, is it your birthday? Happy birthday tomorrow. Uh, is it really? Yeah. Oh, is it happy actually? early birthday. I think he's memeing, but I'm. You know yeah. what? I'm gonna have a birthday anyways. I'm turning uh 34. No, he's not. He's turning. I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna turn 20. Shit, I wish. 34. <laughs> 30. <laughs> oldest um, guy in the league. I wish that were no Sidex older. Sidex like 50 something, I think. Um, 52. Roughly, yeah, 52 maybe? or something. He's like four kids or whatever. Um, yeah, damn. All right, so we got we got Sage coming in here. You know what? I like having rule the other. Hi Sage, you suck. <laughs> Pretty bad. I got <laughs> How's it going, buddy? Fine. Fine. How'd, what'd you think of that game? Do you uh, even remember it? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> what'd uh, you think of those smite steals? Nocturne Galio pretty aids, and Jeremy can't play the game for shit, so it's kind of unlucky. <laughs> Great. <laughs> it's hurtful but true. <laughs> Um, <laughs> say something, say something. who do you think was the MVP yeah. of the enemy team, Sage? Fucking honestly, it's fucking Nocturne. Yeah, I was just saying Nocturne and Galen. Um, uh, who got Galen. gaffed the hardest that game, Sage? <laughs> I can't even remember their support, so I'd have to say support. <laughs> I was just that. What an asshole you are. <laughs> I legit don't even know who that guy was. Who's a bad He's pick? New. I think the pick was, new. was yeah. Oh, it was, I think the no, right? Was okay, okay. Yeah, yeah no, I think I'd he played well, but it's just a, it was just a bad pick. I don't, I don't think it was the player; it was just a champion. Like what the fucking Senna doing to any of those champions, right? Yes, Senna just running her down. Um, all right, Sage. Well, um, you're super cringe for picking Victor. Uh, what was your thought process about? What? <laughs> okay. You heard me? Uh, uh, I didn't think Victor was, was a cringe champ. It's pretty cringe, but not gonna lie. But um. No, so basically Jeremy went to my house and held a gun and said, play Victor. Uh, it was, it was uh, kind of a uh, What did you want to play uh, instead? What did you want to play instead? I wanted to play fucking Kale. Kale, that's what it was. What the hell? It fucking said no shot. I was like, you're playing Victor. I forgot about that. You know what? I'm going to take the blame for that. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> all right. Well, uh, any parting thoughts here, Bru? You got any last thoughts? Want to wrap us up? Uh. Yeah, happy Thanksgiving, guys. Okay, you know, I, it. I can't <laughs> wait for the. I'm, uh, I'll see you guys after Thanksgiving break. So this is okay. a great way to end before I Thanksgiving agree. break. Happy early thoughts birthday, nine eleven, guys. Yeah, thoughts on nine eleven room before you go. Uh, and with that, we are done for the stream. <laughs> wait, no, hold on, no, hold on. Yeah. We gotta, Man's yeah. Gotta Rue, thoughts on nine eleven. Uh, yeah. Well, I'm Canadian, so I'll just yeah, no what comment. Are your thoughts on it. No, okay, no comment. We have no comment on thought. All right, Sage, parting thoughts? 
Uh, no, not really. I don't got All right, what are your thoughts on 9 11? Yeah, what are your thoughts? 9 11 bad. Okay, that's. I think that's a good way to go out on. Uh, Trace, do you want to take us out? Mention who's I playing next and all that stuff? Be an inside oh, job. Of course. The planes came from the outside. Our next game is in about half an hour at 11 o'clock Eastern with Aegis Light taking on Sakura Dragon Gaming, correct? Yeah. Yes, a brand a new team to the series. What a jungle gap. Is Victor a cringe champ? <laughs> Who started this poll? Yes. Unfortunately, the nose won by 100%. No, this is... <laughs> Better luck next time. Yes. All right. Uh, we'll see all of you in about half an hour. Uh.